Hi YouTube, what's up? It's Adam Lovetig from Razorback Media, and I'm here with my girlfriend. Hi. All right, she really doesn't want to be here. Her name's Amanda. <laughs> so, basically, these three iPhones, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, and iPhone 4, are all jailbroken, running 4.1.2, and we're just gonna have a little speed test here and see which phone is in fact the fastest on 4.1.2. So the first test is, go is going to be turning off the phones. So we are going to, you do the four and I'll do these two. We're gonna hold the power button down, only the power button, no. until we get that message. Just the power button, not the, yeah. And then we're gonna slide them at the same time, we're gonna slide all three of them off and see which one turns off first. So I'll do these two and you do that one, okay? One, two, three. Well, that was pretty much exactly the same. I think the order was for 3GS, 3G, but they were just seconds off. Really not a big difference there. Now we're gonna turn them back on, on three, and we'll see which one gets there first. So you have to get your finger on the power button and then press it when I say. You want to do the countdown or do you want me to? Three, two, one. All right, that was pretty even. Once again, this is the 3G, this is the 3GS, and this is the iPhone 4. I might put a timer down below. Um, the 3GS actually gets the Poison logo before the iPhone 4, which is really interesting. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's it looks like 3GS might beat the iPhone 4. This is actually exciting to me, Amanda. <laughs> She's like, why am I here? It's really <laughs> close at this point between the 3GS and the 4. And the 3GS won! I don't understand why, but the iPhone 3GS actually beat the iPhone 4 by about a second and a half, or two seconds. Now the iPhone 3G is still lagging behind, but I guess that's expected. I'm really not sure why Yours is faster than mine. This is actually Amanda's iPhone. This is mine. My phone's cooler. Oh, look who it is. Better late than never. Um, well, that was really weird. I wonder why. If anyone knows why that is, please let us know in the comments below. They're both running 4.12 with green poison. Now we're going to do a Cydia test, which basically just opens up Cydia, and we're going to load the repos, that's short for repositories. So we're gonna see which one is faster there. So turn on the Wi-Fi for my iPhone 4 in settings, Wi-Fi, and then turn on Luftig, which is my Wi-Fi my Wi-Fi network. Um, they're both on airplane mode, so they're all gonna be running on the exact same network right next to each other. So as you can see here, they all have the Wi-Fi symbol now, and we are going to open up Cydia, which is in the bottom, on the bottom right there, at the same time. So let's have a countdown. One, two, three. All right, let's see what refreshes first. All right, the 4 and 3GS both loaded the bottom, and it's gonna be very close, I can already tell. 3G is still lagging behind, and the iPhone 4 gets reloading data first. That's really good. All right. Oh, 3GS reloading data. Wow, the iPhone 4 wins for once. And 3GS is about to finish with 3G lagging way behind as usual. So, I guess that's pretty obvious. Which one was the victory? The victor there. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Not so cool anymore? No. no, no. no. Um, yes, we do have all our blobs saved. Amanda, please explain to everyone what a blob is. I don't know, it's just a cool word to say. I see, I have all my blobs here. <laughs> and are you missing any blobs, Amanda? Which blob are you missing? I'm missing blobs? You are missing 4.0.2. I actually it? didn't save one for you. Oh my god. And we've lost it forever. Oh my god. But it's okay, because we don't need that blob. We really don't. Um... That's really all there is for this video. I guess one really good test that we could do is to actually load a YouTube video and see what the fastest phone is video-wise. So we're gonna open up YouTube here on all three phones. That's not really a race. And now we're gonna go to Featured for all three of them. And that one's already trying to play a video. So now, which video do you think is good, Amanda? Don't run away. She's already leaving. She's like, she's like, I'm done. Oh, she has to sneeze? All right, well, hurry up and sneeze. Bless you. Bless you. 
She's trying to like make her body do things to get her to leave. That's how badly she wants to leave here. <laughs> Which video do you think we should load? Uh -huh. This one is one minute. Audi big game commercial. Let's do that one. Okay. So I'm gonna click on it on these two Which and you can one? click. Which one? The second one? Yeah, no, the no, third, third one. one. Alright, okay. so you get the four, I'll get these two. Okay. One, two, three. That was very, very even. The four and the three GS pretty much get it at the same time. Mine actually the three GS won that. Yeah. Yours played before mine did. Yeah. And the three G never even started. Well, that's very annoying. Alright, I want to do one more video test because I can't believe that you actually just won that. Why did you win that test? Once again, my phone's cooler. The 3GS just beat the iPhone 4 yet again. We need to find a larger video to do this test on. This one right here, 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Let's try that. It says, Audi Big Game 2011 teaser. So let's try that. Okay. One. Wait, the first the one? The top one, the top one, yeah. One, two, three. Again, pretty even start. The iPhone 4, it looks like the iPhone 4 won that one. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, 4? Yeah. All right, well, it really should have. We're having some technical difficulties in my family. Please ignore the screams. <laughs> um, but that's nothing new. And, uh, all right, well, that's that. That's YouTube. Uh, we could do a website test as the final test, the very last one. We've only done a couple. So I'm going to go into Safari, and you go into Safari on your phone, and close all of the tabs that you have open. So that there's, that. you have to press this button in the corner here and hit the X. Have you ever done that before? No. Oh, okay, well, it's important to do that. All right, what website do you think would be good for testing? One that we've never gone to before. Any websites? Let's put them all down here. Put your phone in the middle. Um, how about we try a website that has a lot of content on it, a lot of pictures. How about we will type in apple.com. Doesn't get any easier than that. All right, so type in apple. You don't have to do the www. All right, so just get it in and then, not yet, <laughs> we're not uh, even go yet. <laughs> okay. All right, we have to do a different website now. Let's do Apple with no E at the end. I don't know what, what website that is, but we'll try it. That's a really good test because we have no idea what's there. I think that's a real website. Mm. All right, let's try it on three. Which one do you want to do? I'll do this one. Okay. Countdown. Three, two, one. It's doing something. The iPhone 4 clearly won that, and 3GS right behind it. That was really fast. Yeah. It's interesting to know that Apple without an E brings you right back to Apple. Yeah. And the iPhone 4 pretty much is done, and that was pretty fast. Let's go to National Geographic. Do it. Type in Nat Geo on that one on the 4. Oh, it pops up right there. Yeah. Can I just click that? National Geographic, yeah. And then it should come up in the search results as like the first link. All right, now we're gonna do this very last test and we will call it a day. We're going to channel.nationalgeographic.com on three. first one? Yeah. One, two, three. The 3GS loaded that black thing there. You just went fast. The four. Yeah, the four is, but noth nothing's done yet. The four is done. The three GS is done. Pretty much an exact tie. I think I might have been half a second before you. Really doesn't make a difference. And the three G, right behind that, pretty much done as well. So thank you for watching this video. Please let us know what you want to see next. And special thanks to Amanda for sitting here for 10 whole minutes. She was telling me to end the video the whole time. So even though she wanted it to end, she stuck by it and we had good results. So thanks for watching and catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.